gang hooks, a little bit of wire tied to a swivel. The same floating pilchard rig that I use pretty much everywhere. Casting it straight out the back, around 15 meters so that it doesn't hit the bottom because my water depth is about 25. So let's see what happens this time. Oh, yep. Come on. There goes the floater. Yes. Good timing. Just got the other line in. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? It's a good fish. Oh, it feels a bit tuner-ish. Got a head shake going on there. Okay, I'm gonna get this right out the way. Oh, it's all about beating the sharks here at the moment. Let's see what we've got here. It's either gonna be a tuna or some kind of mackerel species, <coughs> or a reefy that's come off the bottom, because that bait would have been pretty close to the bottom. He's not running real hard now. Oh, I reckon it's a reefy that's come up off the bottom. Oh, it is, it's a nice red throat. Beauty, I love these fish. <laughs> they look so amazing in the water. All right, let's get this bad boy in. Oh yes, what a cracker. You beauty. Oh mate, that's a beautiful fish. Look at the colors on that. One of the best reefies here in 1770. The cold trout and the red throat emperor. The colors are just absolutely gorgeous. The reds are just amazing. All the baits are working at the moment, the floaters and the half pillies drop straight down. So we'll just keep getting them out there and see what else we catch. Oh, the floater just went off. <laughs> I just saw a couple of big fish come through the sounder that looked like pelagics. And as normally happens, it doesn't take long. If you've got a bait down in the right depth of where those fish come through, normally you will get the hook up. And I had a pilchard sitting right down in the right depth of the water column, around 15 meters. And it was just a matter of time before a fish came past and ate it. What have we got here? I'm thinking it's a pelagic species, but you never know. It could be a reefy. It could be a nice reefy that's come off the bottom. It is. I thought it was going to be a Spanish, but it's another red throat. <laughs> and another cracker one too. Wow. They are impressive fish. And they go hard. Look at that. Oh, such a beautiful fish. <laughs> a little bit bigger size than the other one. Went just as hard. I mean, you would have thought that was a Spanish mackerel or some kind of pelagic the way it ran then. But he's just coming off the bottom and having a chew on those pilchers that I'm sinking down. What a cracker. Another beautiful fish. I was just thinking it's been a while since the floater went off and he's got me into the reef. Damn it. All right, give him some slack line for a bit and see if he comes out. Yep, off he goes. No, he swam straight back in. <laughs> Let's try again. He's stuck in there. Oh, come on, swim out. If I just take the motor off spot lock, drift back, he might just come out. Yep, yep, we got him. Come on. Yes, that did the trick. Oh, sometimes that's all you gotta do. Instead of losing the fish, just drop back a little bit and he'll come out of his hole and you can win the battle. I reckon this is another red throat. There's a shark on his back. So I'll get this guy in fast. There we go. Ah, oh, beat the reef, beat the sharks. You gotta love a victory. <laughs> Fantastic. He had me fair and square that fish and sometimes you just have to think through the situation and it would have been easy to get busted off. It's a shark swimming down there, but perseverance and that's how you get the fish. Yep. Come on. I'm gonna win this one. I just got busted off and then the floater went off. Oh, that was a big fish that last one, probably a big trout. Just got sharked, there's a shark on this one as well. Oh, I'm gonna get done in a minute. Oh, it's a red throat. And the sharks are all over them. 
Oh, that last one was a big trout. Absolute cracker. Uh, red throat emperor. Look at the colors, so beautiful. And man, they're loving this floating pilcher today. But the other line was a big trout, a really big one. And I lost it to a shark. Well, you've got to have another go.